Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel, like this one right here, which is perfect for Valentine's Day, which is right around the corner, or anytime you feel like wearing a bright shadow on your lid. I don't know what's been getting into me lately. I'm typically not a bright shadow person, but I've really been liking just a wash of one shade with a little bit of a brown color in the crease and the winged liner, and that is it. Now, if you're new to my channel, you should know that I try to keep my tutorials as informative, as simple, and as achievable as possible, and this one is no different. So we are going in with a cream color base in the form of a liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star. This is I Say but please know if you are going in with a different liquid lipstick on your eyes, not all liquid lipsticks are eye safe, so just make sure to check before you do that. I just find when we're going in with a shade like a pink, I need some kind of base to really make that shadow pop and give me the pigment that I want. But please look in your collection before going out and buying what I'm using in this tutorial. I am dipping into a couple different palettes, but none of these shadows are extremely unique and I'm sure you have something comparable in your collection. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Soft Serve and put just a tiny bit on the back of my hand because you really only need a little bit of this. And I'm using a Real Techniques blending brush. I just find that this blending brush works the best out of all of the brushes I have for something like a liquid lipstick. So I'm taking a tiny bit on my brush and I'm wiping most of it off on the back of my hand just so I have a little bit of pigment on the brush and then I'm going to start to work that onto my entire lid. I did try doing this at first straight from the lipstick tube and it's just way too pigmented so that's why I think it's important to go in with the blending brush with just a little bit of product and you could see how much is coming off just with a dab of product and this will dry down so you do want to work kind of fast so I'm just gonna take blending or circular motions to blend it out all over the lid. So now that I have a nice wash of that on the lid, I'm just gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna kind of push that more towards the lash line so it looks like there's a little more pigment on the lid and then it diffuses as it goes upwards. Sometimes I find that using my fingers is a little bit better as well. You can really get into the lash line. I did forget to mention, I did put a concealer on my lids and I didn't set that. Since I did go in with a cream liquid lipstick, I didn't want to set the concealer on my lids, which I typically do. So now we are going to set and I'm just going to go in with the James Charles palette. I'm going to go in with this shade right here i'll put up on the screen what it's called i don't have the little pamphlet in front of me and i'm just going to take that on a blending brush we're using really really minimal brushes here you know what i'm actually just going to take the same real techniques to apply that why not and i'm just going to put a light wash of that over just to add a little bit more opacity you could also go in with something like your blush the milani blossom time rose blush would be really nice for this i just had the james charles palette in front of me and this shade does have a little bit of a sheen to it so i'm just going to take that same brush and just go right over you really don't need to do this because that liquid lipstick is pretty pigmented. But I just wanted a little bit more of a sheen to it. And like I said, I wanted it to be a little more opaque. So now that we have that set, I'm gonna go in with a little more of a brown tone shade because I do have brown tones under the eyes and I want those to play well together. So a couple of options here, you could go in with the Physicians Formula Classic Nudes. I love this palette, it's drugstore, it's under $10. Or if you have the Dose of Colors Baked Browns, this would be a great palette. Or you can go in with one of the shades of the James Charles palette. Whatever you have, these aren't super unique colors. So just grab a soft tone brown. So I'm going to go in with this shade. 
shade from the Physicians Formula, and I might dip a little bit into this shade from the Dose of Colors palette as well. I think that's called Deserted. And I'm gonna kind of work that into the crease to warm that up. So I'm gonna start with the Physicians Formula color. I find that the Physicians Formula is a little less pigmented. So use a lighter hand if you have Dose of Colors. You can go in a little bit heavier with the Physicians Formula. And I'm just gonna start to warm up that crease. And I do, as always, bring this right into where my nose starts to contour. And then with any fluffy brush, this is just wet and wild, I'm just gonna blend to soften it a little bit more. So we didn't add a lot of color there and I did end up just going in with the Physicians Formula. It just warms it up slightly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into that Dose of Colors palette. I know I'm using a lot of palettes, but like I said, just use whatever you have. I'm gonna dip into Deserted and a little bit of the middle shade, which is outdoorsy. It's a little more reddish undertoned and I'm gonna to start to work both of those under the eye with the pencil brush. I'm definitely smoking this out a little bit more than I normally would. And then I'm just gonna take a MAC 208, which is an angled liner. It's kind of tiny, but not the smallest. And I'm going into Rock Bottom in the Dose of Colors palette. This is just a dark chocolate brown. Use whatever you have. And I'm gonna take that and get really close up to the lower lash line. I, we are going in with a wing like on this eye on the upper lash line, so this kind of balances it out once you have all your mascara and lashes on. And then again with the pointed brush, by the way, the pointed pencil brush I'm using is a Morphe M431. All right, so I know this looks a little bottom heavy right now, but once we get the lashes and the liner on, everything will balance itself out. So I am going in with the Kat Von D Hemingway. It's just a brown liner. And then I'm gonna set that with the Dose of Colors brown color rock bottom. I like a more matte finish to my liner. I'm not a very shiny liner type of person. These lashes that I'm using are called Naked Drama and Lacy. I just hauled these. I really like these. These are super light, super comfortable, but they have a shiny lash band and I can't really get rid of it, unfortunately, even with powder. So that's the only downside. So you can probably see a little shine there. That is the lash band. So I'm gonna go off camera, apply my liner and these lashes, and then I will meet you right back here. All right, so liner is on. Again, not perfect. They never are, but I think it looks pretty good. I did line my waterline as well with MAC Duck. This is a very dark brown liner, and I think it complements this look very well. The lashes, I can't get over them. They are so comfortable. The only thing is that shiny lash band, but I think I can get used to it or find some kind of solve because I really like how these look. I think they look really good for hooded eyes. And then I did go in with my mascara as well. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I've been really, really liking this, especially on the lower lash line. I think it makes my lashes look really long, God bless you, Stanley, and perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is highlight. I am using the Becca Chloe and Malika, that's what I have all over my face. By the way, I will leave all of my face details down below if you're curious about that. I leave all of my makeup details down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a pencil brush. This is the Wet n Wild pencil brush. It's a little bit thicker, and I'm gonna go into this highlight shade right here. A good dupe for this is the Maybelline Master Chrome, the Nikki Tutorials one, I think that these look pretty similar, but I think that the Becca just meshes into the skin a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open up the eyes and put that right here. And I'm not gonna be too stingy with it. I'm gonna go in pretty heavy so I can really kind of open the eyes.
So like I said earlier, I did get a little bit of fallout right here. It almost looks like a cluster of freckles to be honest. So just be really careful when you're going in, like I said, and setting your liner. A lot of times it does fall down and when you are going in with a dark brown or a black, it's extremely hard to get off your face. At this point to get this off, I would have to take off my concealer and then reapply and I'm just not going to do it right now. So. That is really it for this one. It feels so strange ending this right now because I've really only been filming for like 20 minutes and typically I'm filming for a lot longer than that. When I went in and did this eye, it really took less than five minutes. So I love the simplicity of this look, but it looks stunning. The fresh glow of the skin really complements a soft pink like this and then the lip color complements it as well. I did go in with the Jeffree Star lipstick again. I just had to go over with a gloss. I went in with a NYX Butter Gloss. I'll leave all of the rest of my makeup details below. I just really wanted to keep this one focused on the eyes, but I think complementing it with other soft pinks really helps pop the eye. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them down below. I try to respond to each and every one of your comments. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the world to me. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.